Action. We all know objects roll downhill. I'm going to prove it to you. Rolls down the big surprise. Let's take this guy. Oh, it's rolling uphill. Look at that. How is that possible? Nothing's changed, right? We'll start them both in the middle. This guy rolls downhill, this guy rolls uphill. What's going on? They're both rolling downhill. It's just that what you need to know is that gravity acts at the center of mass. The center of mass for this guy is this point right here. And if you watch that point closely, you'll see that this point gets lower in the motion. So the center of mass for this guy is getting lower, just like the center of mass for this guy gets lower when he goes that way. So it's all about the center of mass. We'll take another example here, another classic one, right? Here we go. Leaning tower, we add a little more mass on top, and it falls over. What's going on? Well, right now, the center of mass is being supported by the base. So the, the center of mass is probably somewhere around here, and it comes straight down, it's being supported. When I add some more mass on the top, well, that raises the center of mass, and now it's no longer being supported, and so it falls over. Center of mass is very important in physics, uh, even in your daily life. For men, the center of mass is generally around here. Now, if I bend over, I have to be supported. If I keep my body completely stiff, and then I bend over like this, my center of mass in my body is not supported, I'll fall over. That's why if you look closely, when I bend over, I shift backwards here. It's the only way I can support my body. Finally, let's take just some everyday examples. Well, even block of wood. The density is constant, therefore it's all treated evenly. So the center of mass, well, it's in the middle. It's you know, in the middle for x in the middle for y. Now, the formula for center of mass is this. And then we add up all the little pieces. So this is if you have more than one object. You do the same thing in the y position. And then for continuous objects, move on to calculus and you integrate. But for things that are uniform density, it's very simple. It's in the middle. This bottle, hot sauce, well, when it's full, the center of mass is not in the middle because, look, there's much less stuff up here. So the center of mass is going to be down here. And when it's halfway full, like I have it here, I like hot sauce, that lowers the center of mass because there's very little mass up here. Cool. There's a brief intro to center of mass. Keep it in mind because it's, it's very important.